Uh, yeah, a tough one for Red Bull and hard to swallow. And for the championship, I mean, if there was any hope for Max Verstappen, it's probably dwindling very rapidly, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately, but I think we always knew they never really had the pace to, to beat the Mercedes wherever we go. I think it's, it's Alex Albon, you know, really now that we've got to talk about because it's, it hasn't quite happened again for him. You've got the, the smaller team driver win the race for me. I think, you know, Alex is sort of, you know, doesn't want to break himself completely. I think he should step aside or the team should move him aside and get Pierre back in the car personally. Okay. Where, where do you stand on that? Gasly's getting the numbers, you know, he's, he's consistent. I think the, the biggest thing I take from that is body language when he was in that interview. It just looks like it's dropped. Um, and F1, you need to be proud, you need to be ready. You need to feel like you've got the weight of the team on top of you. And uh, that looks like it's for him. He needs a confidence boost and he's just not getting a break to get that to happen. Uh, and that's when you're up against first happens. So uh, the team are saying... This is some of the mistakes that, that, that he made today, Paul. Yeah, I mean, you, you, there's not really much you can do there. You know, he's been slightly pushed off there. Um, you know, he put himself in a position, obviously, that was a, a closing gap. And there's nothing, I think that's Gasly, actually, isn't it? There's nothing Gasly could do at that point. Um, Albon was making it three abreast, which you never really want to do on any track. Uh, and then later on, you can see, I mean, hard and fast. I mean, you've got to leave the car on the outside a bit of space. Every year, it repeats itself, the same kind of thing down there, and he picked up a, a little penalty. But it's the impact you make from those recovery drives um, that are going to make the difference, and that's where the Red Bull didn't allow that to happen today. But the impact drives that he does are impressive. The problem is he's never in the right place at the right time where he needs to back up Max, for example. So I think that's where everything's not quite working for him and for the team, and I think that's where it's time for a change.